Hello, I wanted to show off this uh, program that I've been working on. It is a 3D game engine that's using OpenGL and SDL2. It's written in C and C++. Um, as you can see, uh, this is the first person mode. You can walk around and it loads in object files and material files. Um, here's a simple animation. Um, this animation actually is not the greatest way of doing it. It just has a bunch of object files that it's looping through basically and I just generated that in Blender. This castle area I found online and I just took some texture and threw it on there. As you can see the texture is not super high quality. Same thing with the grass. It's a little bit of warping. Um, I haven't figured out what's causing that yet but that's fine. Um, the shaders I need to work a little bit on it so the shader can look a little bit nicer. Here's this car. Um, and I have this monkey head, this one blender as well, it's spinning, it's changing the color based on time. And let's keep moving on. Here is just this little UFO thing. You can see you can actually switch positions to it and zoom on out. Um, the controls for the UFO are working, but uh, at the moment they're not. Uh, I couldn't tell you why. You can also move on the X, or that's a Z. But in the Y and the X coordinates um, instead of just moving in first person mode and you can move under so you can drop below this world actually and as you can see this is everything below it let's pop back up and there's also using shaders here's another shader for example this is something I worked on on my website shadergrounds.com you guys can check it out it's similar to shader toys um, except it's really a uh, bare bones, it's something I've just been working on for fun, but it makes it so you can share and save shaders and you can, you know, in this example, import it right into your code. It's, uh, it's been pretty useful actually. We have this little duck that we're sitting on. Of course you can see the duck's head isn't facing the same way as the body, but the body is spinning in the right direction. As you can see, that's the direction we're looking at. That's the direction we're looking at. So that all works like that. Um, the math and the matrices and whatnot are using the GLM library. Um, I'm still tinkering around a with it a little bit, but for the most part, uh, it's using that completely. There's a lot I want to do from here. I want to just learn about a little bit more about shading so I can figure out the lighting, um, have some better animation systems other than just displaying a bunch of objects that are animated, and work some more on some camera controls and whatnot. Definitely work on some texturing. I don't expect this to be the best looking graphics, but as long as it's good enough compared to like a N64 or even PS1 or PS2 graphics, that would be pretty nice. Um, but this is my this is my first jump into 3D, my first jump into OpenGL. I've basically never used any of this stuff before. So it's been a fun experience. I've been learning a lot. I also want to work on collision. As you can see, you can walk right between the walls. Um, that's probably not the next thing I'm doing, but that's like the next big thing that I want to do is a collision. Um, there's some collision libraries that, um, not collision libraries, but there's physics libraries that I'm going to try to set up. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to do that, but yeah, that's something I'm going to be working on. Hopefully, um, right now, I mean, it's an engine, but the engine is only just written in code as like a library or an API. But hopefully in the future, I'll have it so you can you know, make a simple game. I mean, I feel like with everything right here, I can already make like a, some very simple games. I mean, I can, I can just need to fix up the lighting and the collision a little bit and then some animations. And I can make something that's equivalent to like James Bond 007 on the N64. Um, I mean, the graphics, I can't remember just off the top of my head, but they got to be somewhat similar, and that's a pretty fun game, I would say. But yeah, I just wanted to showcase this. What do you guys think? Um, I don't have the code published right now, but uh, go free to, feel free to check the description. Maybe it'll be there in the future. If not, I'll have a video in the future where I'll be showing what I'm working on. I've been kind of slow on some stuff. I, I know I need to be working on my Raylib series, which maybe some of you guys are following. Uh, I've just been really busy. I, I'm not going to make like an update video or anything, but I've just been 
really busy with a lot of stuff, and that's just something that I've been wanting to work on uh, to learn some 3D. So thanks for watching, and see you guys again next time. Bye.